Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are Group A, have chosen Proton Holdings Berhad and will provide the model Proton Preve Premium CFE CVT as a petrol car for Egyptian National Police. Market Summary For market demographic, Proton Holdings Berhad use demographic segmentation as their market segmentation. Proton target customers aged ranging 18 and above which have average monthly income more than 2,500 ringgit. Market needs. There are five types of market needs. Proton must consider and understand the needs from the customer. Stated, real, unstated, delight, and secret. Market trends. The company lists all the brands in terms of numbers such outlets and for 2020, it is intends to continue to grow the sales network even more. And lastly, market growth. Overall, market share for the year is estimated to be 16.7%, the highest figure since 2014. Next, SWOT analysis. For strange, Proton engineers have done a research for speed, stability, and structure to be suitable to be used as a police petrol car in Egypt. For weaknesses, Proton should consider either mag installation in Egypt or just deliver the cars by ship. And Proton needs to modify it towards driver car seat because the driver's car seat is different from leisure. Proton can introduce their brand to Egyptian population as their opportunities. For three, other competitors may enter the same market. Competitors analysis. There are five competitors of Proton. The first one is Honda Malaysia Syndrome Berhad. It has excellent brand image but production cost is high. The second one is Mitsubishi Motors Malaysia. It has developed electric cars and poor after sales service. The third one is UMW Toyota Motors Syndrome Berhad. It is the oldest and reputed car manufacturer. It has immense competition. The fourth one is Volvo Car Manufacturing Malaysia Syndrome Berhad. It has world class safety standard but it it is unable to create huge market share. The last one is Brodua. It is the largest small car manufacturer in Asia. It has lower safety standard. The objectives of Proton is to introduce and promote national car brand in international market. The mission is to export cars with police cars design using latest model pre to aid their policies and give more exposure of the national car brand to be known in the other countries. First type of market segmentation is Geographical segmentation. Proton may decide which part the company wants to operate. In few or much geographical areas are operate in all areas but pay attention to geographical differences in needs and wants. For example, Proton main office was based and operate in Malaysia but Proton won't focus on Southeast Asia and Middle East market in some of the prospective segments that they can get some share of the market. The second one is demographic segmentation that is defined as dividing the market into segments based on variables such as age, life cycle stage, gender, income, occupation, education, religion, ethnicity, and generation. In terms of age group, Proton targeting adults who age between 21 to 35 years old that commonly have a family, while in terms of income, Proton targeting middle income group based on the product of based on the price of the product offered. The third one is psychographic segmentation. Psychographic segmentation is defined as divides buyers into different segments based on lifestyle or personality characteristics. People in the same demographic group can have very different psychographic characteristics. Firstly, lifestyle. For example, if a car manufacturer wants to decorate and design cars for various sections of the market, like for the public officer, such as police and firemen. Next, personality. For example, the new product's introduction must look fascinating to the customers who will definitely take the bait for something interesting. The last one is behavioral segmentation. Behavioral segmentation is defined as divides buyers into segments based on their knowledge, attitudes, uses, or responses. Behavioral segmentation is the starting point, according to many marketers, for constructing market segments. For example, loyalty status means that the customer is loyal to one brand and wait for the new products to launch. Let's move to the next part, that is target. The target market of Proton is the segments concerning to the low and middle class of population, and also segment of high income and from all types of population that Proton can obtain decent income. And the last part is positioning. Proton understands most of the customers want the feature and new product that it had developed except for the low entry car levels that the competitors of Proton still dominated. For example, Produa. Proton has sold several partnerships with different automotive brands 
brands to enhance its product offerings and as part of its overseas market penetration strategy. From the partnership, Proton can produce more affordable cars with high quality or pricey car with but with the best feature and quality. Proton promise to their customer the greater value that Proton can get in exchange. That's all from me. Thank you. Strategy. Proton is committed towards expanding its regional presence regarding sales and distribution in Egypt. Its attempt to extend the brand beyond Malaysia's coast are now beginning to see results regarding sale growth. Marketing mix. For product, the industry must conduct research and development strategy and extensive consumer surveys to gain a better understanding of the basic needs of customers to maintain the positive momentum. For price, Proton available at reasonable price to help the company to boost low the company to gain a, the interest of customer and consumer. For promotion, Proton's technical support and after-sales service capabilities must be good of design and function to further develop Proton's market position in the domestic market. For place, Proton Car Egypt will introduce an extensive resonation policy to boost distributor throughput and increase yields in underperforming area. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Break even analysis in economy, business and cost and continue refer to the point in which total cost and total revenue are equal. A break even point analysis is used to determine the number of units of product or services should sell to cover total cost, fixed and variable cost. Proton total fixed cost is 5610 ringgit. Total variable cost is 1008 ringgit. Proton break even point in units is 81973 units. Break even point in price is 5,843,468. Revenue of Proton is 14,345, including sales and sales charge. Proton company must generate until reach uh, break even point in units, also break even point in price of sale of the Proton private. Proton will start to gain the profit after exceeding the break even points. <laughs> Next, I will present about implementation approach. We have four ways of implementation, which is first is product strategy, second price strategy, third promotion strategy, and the last one is target market. In control approach, we need to monitor to gauge performance for Proton Premium CVT cars, which is revenue, expenses, sales growth by percentage, export value, number of product launches, export growth in percentage, and many more. In conclusion, we try to make some connection with global marketing. We are delivery of 350 Proton Privy Premium CVT cars, special just for a chase as a petrol police car in junction with the anniversary. And we believe that Proton Privy is able to compete with their competitors effectively with the help of their strength.